So we ran into my Target early morning. It's been a while since I've been here at store open, 8 a.m. But as you can see, nothing going on here. Someone misplaced the matchbox in the Hot Wheels section because it's so empty. But guys, look what I stumbled across. The latest retro entertainment set. We got Super Mario Brothers, the plumber's truck, 007, the rebirth of the 2000 GT Roadster, the custom one-off car they made for 007. Back to the Future, the poop cars, everybody likes to call it. Got Rugrats, the Raptor wagon. Pretty cool, pretty classic. I remember this as a kid. More 007s, got quite a few of those. Super Mario Brothers. And I'm not buying all these guys, I'm just showcasing them to you. Raptor, 007, Back to the Future. Got some Fast and Furious here as well too, so we got the... HKS RX 7s and some Skylines, so pretty sweet. Not bad for some premium action. All right, so after Target, dropped off at my Dollar Tree. There's nothing on the pegs, but again, pretty cool with the uh, store manager, and she brought out this E case. Just cut it for me, so let's dig in. <laughs> Guys, this is my first sealed box in, I would say, probably my first one for the year, to be perfectly honest. EK, so got a chance at Godzilla. Hardest to find mainline for the year, so I'm excited about that. Chance at a super treasure hunt. So, that's what we got, the Honda Civic EF. That's a winner right there. Doing a quick check here. Got the Snoopy car, got the Brow cars. Got a nice Copo Camaro as well. Got this golf themed Aston Martin. That's pretty interesting. I know some folks like that. So the Super Treasure Hunt for the E case. I actually can't remember. It's gotta be the Avija or I don't know. I guess we'll see once we flip it over here. So give me one second. Let me cut open the bottom. All right. Moment of truth. E-case. Flipped it over to the bottom. And sweet Godzilla. Everybody's favorite mainline for the year, guys. Super happy to have that. Let's just check things out real quick here. You got the... Toyota van. You know what? I have been skipping this color variant. I think I'm gonna actually pick it up this time. Just to have one. You guys ever see that? Just to have one. There's actually two in the box, so we'll even one for the next guy. Oh, look at this. Mazda Cosmo. So, E-Case is probably the Mazda Cosmo. That's probably the super in this box. And then here's the Avija. So this must have been the D-Case. Yeah, that's right. DK Super is the Avisia. Got another Skyline, so that's a keeper for sure. Got a Bel Air Gasser in yellow. Try 5. Oh man, guys, something shiny. Oh yeah, first Super of the year. And it's a JDM Mazda Cosmo in carded form guys th logo check and check super treasure hunt number one for the year amazing guys well it's a good way to start the day got a uh, 32 ford Cadillac Seville. This is also pretty popular. Cats. I don't have actually have one of these. I'm actually not a fan. I know a lot of people love this, but not die cash cars. Got a Batmobile recolor. DeLorean. Got a tuned Silverado. Huh. Totally missed it. There's another EF here, so. Got to add this to the EF collection. And that is it, guys. El Segundo Coupe. All right. Amazing. Super happy with that. There's another Avija. Again, not a super, just in case. I always check the...
previous case super just to make sure if it's a super or not, but not terrible, guys. So here at my target, it is loading day and the stalker just dropped one case. So let's see what letter it is. Looks like it's a D case. So there should be a Godzilla in this pile somewhere. I think he said he actually loaded up two other cases as well too. I already took the boxes and recycled them, but let's just take a look. So yeah, we got, looks like we got B case. Kind of odd, we went way back, but there it is, D case, the Avija. That should be the Super. There's one, and I'm actually seeing one right back here in the corner. So look at that. So basically a dud D. And then B case, I guess we'd be looking for the Mercedes Benz. So not my super of choice for the year, but I mean, if it's a super, I'll take it for sure. Oh, this is gonna be quite the challenge to get all of this. D case, Camaro, if it was a C case, this would be the super treasure hunt right here. And dropping cars, I want to buy four. So yeah, it looks pretty well laid out. Can't imagine this has been picked over. Mazda 787B, more Camaros. You got the Nissan Z in blue, recolor, second year. You got a BMW, the convertible, the 507. Clip rod. I actually, believe it or not, back in the day, I used to use this as a uh, money clip. RX7 in green, got the Nissan Leaf. Remick Nevera. Another 370Z. I haven't seen this one in a while, but again, B case, the Nissan Patrol Custom. Alright, I'm gonna dig down a little bit deeper and see if I come up with anything good, guys. Alright, so I must be late. There must have been one other collector here before me. I did touch base with the stalker just now, and he did say there was one other gentleman here earlier. So maybe they cleaned it out, but no Godzillas. This is my take for the day, just so that I don't go home empty. You got the Maxima Drift, Nissan Z, and uh, the Nissan Patrol Custom. So on to the next store. Oh, I guess one other tip for you guys. They did let me know that there is 20 of these speed machines coming in the next five days. So keep a lookout at your targets. I'm guessing it might be a display that might be coming up next and on my way home i thought why not i'll hit walmart just to round us out but again quickly looking at this aisle i can tell you guys there's absolutely nothing here I mean, what are we on e case here at walmart again just how everything is arranged fantasy cast and unsought after licensed cars up front you know there's nothing here pretty much empty for five packs even 20 packs and nine packs are pretty low matchbox looks picked over if there was a super chase it's not there anymore moving parts i'm surprised these aren't more popular i mean pretty much the whole set here like this toyota fj just sits there not that much okay i guess the only interesting thing you guys know i am a newcomer when it comes to Monster Jam. I guess they do have this Gravedigger Chase. It's the heavy metal series where the base as well as the body or I guess the, the chassis is actually metal. You guys can see it's not just painted silver. That's actually metal. So it's really heavy compared to all the other cars. This will probably be on the maybe list. I might as well pick that up while I'm here. I guess looking at the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, they do have this skateboard version here. That's new for the year. Quickly jumping over here, Tech Dex, Hot Wheels Skateboard. I'm sure that's a dying line, guys. Got Super Mario. And absolutely nothing for premiums. These Jada trucks are always hanging here. Kings of Crunch is always here. I would doubt there's any kind of chase. Those look pretty stacked, but yeah. No chase, no greenies, no M2 chases. All right, that's a wrap, guys. So that's the haul for the last couple of days of Hot Wheel hunting. Very simple haul, nothing extravagant. I didn't hit a Walmart bin and walk out with five Super Treasure hunts or anything like that. 
but just enough to be humble and keep the hunt exciting motivates me for the next time i go out but the headline of the hunt it's gotta be the mazda cosmo super treasure hunt first super treasure hunt for me this year 2023 you guys know I've talked about the Super Treasure Hunt before. I featured one on the first seven Super Treasure Hunts reviewed for the year. I wasn't entirely impressed with this cast, just given that wheelbase. It's just so unproportionate underneath, but it's a super. It was $1. And right now, secondary market value, I mean, it's definitely worth more than a dollar. But right now, it's kind of low on the lower end of secondary market Super Treasure Hunt, sitting at that $30 price point. But again, no complaints. Just super happy and fortunate that I was able to find this to add to the collection, even if just for a temporary time frame here. But that's what I got for you guys today. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.